Today we're sitting down with Safi from Citrix. Safi, welcome. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your role. I'm the field CTO at Citrix. So I actually sit as part of the office of the CTO and we spend a lot of time looking at what's happening in the market from a technology perspective, what customers are doing and really trying to make sure that the capabilities and the services that we build are aligned with where the market is going. Perfect. So let's jump straight in. Tell us, why should MSPs consider Citrix? Well, I think Citrix is in an interesting position. You know, we've been around for over 30 years and, and, and throughout that whole time, we've had the vision that we want to enable people and empower people to work from anywhere. Um, and all through that time, that's what we've always done. B build new capabilities and services to enable organisations to, to build out solutions that enable people to work from anywhere and any device. So what are the key differentiators from Citrix and you know, how can you guys help an MSP stand out from the crowd? It's really, it's really interesting. You know, I think organisations are increasingly not looking at just buying product. So MSPs play a, a really important role in how Citrix goes out to support their customers. Um, more and more organisations are looking for uh, outcomes. They're not looking to buy products. And that's why MSPs are really important to Citrix in, in helping stitch, uh, stitch together the various technologies that we need to deliver our outcomes to the customers. So, MSPs with skills in, in different areas that, that are part of the broader ecosystem for Citrix, you know, uh, capabilities like Microsoft Azure are really important to how we enable people to not just em embrace cloud, but really empower people to do their best work. What support does Citrix offer to MSPs? Yeah, the good thing from a Citrix perspective is we're not just saying, here's our products, off you go type of thing. You know, we really want to focus on setting the MSPs up for success. So we have a dedicated team that provides not just technical uh, support and technical capabilities from a, a, a product perspective, but also sales support, you know, in helping the MSPs assess the market, understand what their go-to-market strategies would be, helping them develop what their service offering would be. And then we have a whole range of, of technical capabilities and teams that, that are dedicated to helping MSPs design, build and architect their Citrix implementations. Safi, you just mentioned, you know, that we're one integrated team. I suppose from your side of the business, what does this look like? And together, how do we provide value to help our MSP partners win more business? The interesting thing about that is that the, that partnership that we have goes beyond just a working partnership. You know, in, in terms of the way our teams operate, the way we we train each other, enable each other, you know, for example, uh, from a pre-sales perspective, the, t the technical teams are completely integrated. They jointly participate in our team meetings, they get enabled in the same way. What this means is that when you're working with the, part, the, the team at Dicker Data, is that you're getting the same experience um, and shared learnings as Citrix the vendor. It means that when you're working with Citrix or Dicker Data, a partner can expect the same experience in helping ramp up their their service offering or technology or in assessing new markets as well, where if a partner has not had exposure to a certain technology that Citrix has, that either Citrix or Dicadata can bring that capability and really help enable that partner be successful with that new technology in that new market. Citrix is traditionally known as more of a VDI solution vendor. Is this still the case? It's interesting you ask that question. I mean, because we've been doing VDI for quite some time now. Um, I would say Citrix has always been focused on enabling people to work from anywhere with the right technology. And at a point in time, virtual desktops were the right technology. It's still the right technology today for certain use cases. But increasingly, as the world is changing in terms of the types of applications people use, the devices that they're working from, people need different solutions. They need to be able to work from a Chromebook or a MacBook or a Windows. They need to work from different clouds. The types of applications people are using, it's not just your traditional applications that sit in your data center, but they live in public clouds or their, their web and SaaS based applications. So what we really see is, is, is as a company, we focus on two main areas. You know, one, how do we empower people to do their best work? And that's providing the necessary capabilities and solutions to empower them to work from different devices, different locations. And a new area of focus for us is, and it's quite an exciting one, is how do we help guide and automate the work that they do by focusing on their workflows and their business processes? So that's one area, how we help people. The other aspect, looking at the diverse portfolio of applications that organizations have, is how do we secure and optimize the delivery of all the different types of applications people have? 
Um, apps, as I said, don't just sit in the data center. They sit in uh, a web and SaaS provider's data center. They sit in, in public clouds like Azure and AWS. So it can become incredibly complicated for an organization to manage that. This is where a, a managed service provider can really help uh, by leveraging our platform to make it easier for organizations to secure and optimize the delivery of all of those different types of applications. Thanks again for your time, Safi. And to all of our partners, we look forward to working with you to grow your Citrix business.